فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير. You want peace, you need to be disciplined, and this is why Islam has a lot of rules and regulations. Because through that discipline, you will be at peace. Imagine if I were to look at every woman and try to get them into bed with me. What would happen? I would live a life full of ripping apart myself, being very unsatisfied, dissatisfied, and everyone would be upset with me and so many people would want to actually kill me because they know the type of person that this is. But if I am respectful, I lower my gaze, I appreciate what Allah has blessed me with, I am helped, I am really thankful to Allah. If I want to do things, I do them the halal way and I make sure that I've disciplined myself. When I, you know, I don't need to engage in immorality to enjoy my life because everyone who's engaged in immorality has actually removed the peace from their life. That's a guarantee. I need to protect myself. We spoke about pornography yesterday in Kuala Lumpur, subhanAllah. And one of the big points was that those who actually watch this thinking that it's delightful end up depressed. They end up disrespecting the opposite sex and their own spouses. They, they become so satisfied with haram, with that which is prohibited, that, that they have no time for halal. This is why we say, cut it out, it can never come about with goodness. So Islam has a lot of rules and regulations, we admit hands down. Yes, it does. But every rule and regulation Islam has, is there in order to bring about your inner and outer peace. You know, with all due respect to people who dress however they want to dress, if you see someone who's dressed in a way that they're revealing every important organ of their body, Look at the way they walk and then you see someone who's draping with a gold dress with mashallah, beautiful elegance and they're covered in a beautiful way. You can see the peace and you can see the lack of peace. You can see it. Brothers, I'm not encouraging you to go and look. <laughs> what I mean is, it's clear. I've come across sisters who have dressed appropriately after they used to be from amongst those who didn't dress properly and they say completely, you know how conscious I was of making sure that my butt is okay and my legs are okay and my cleavage is looking, you know, okay and everything is fake, half of it is fake and my face is all draped up and everything and the way I walk, I was never at peace, I'm always worried about what people are going to say and I'm waiting for a comment, if someone doesn't comment, I become angry. <laughs> I did all this, I spent three hours coming in country saying, Woo! <laughs> There's no peace, no peace at all. Beautiful clothes, alhamdulillah. And be an upright person, walk with respect, dignity. You don't need the whole world running behind you because in that case, you won't be leading your life. You will be leading a life that is actually enslaved by them. I can explain quickly what that is. When you dress for yourself, you're actually dressing for yourself. You're not bothered about people's comments and what people are saying and whether they say it or don't. So I can easily walk out of my house. I can easily go to the mall store. Someone knocks on my door. I can easily open it because I know I'm myself. But if you're living for everyone else and their comments and their looks and everyone to say wow and to put their likes on Facebook and so on. So when you, when you put your leg this way, you take a picture and put it on Facebook and you want people to say wow, you're beautiful. Wallahi, well, my sisters, you are beautiful without their comments because a lot of them are just liars. I promise you, they want you to feel good. Allah knows He created you. You want real peace, you need to know something and that is... Subhanallah, just dress appropriately. Do you know when someone knocks on your door, you can quickly go there. Those who are enslaved by this type of perhaps dressing, if someone knocks on the door, they have to wait for 30 minutes before the sister can actually, you know, make herself up because she's so embarrassed. They can't see me like this. And you're busy sitting and sitting 20 minutes. Someone comes and opens the door and makes you sit down and you're saying, but you know what, I'm waiting and waiting. 25 minutes later, you walk out and as you're walking out, hey, she comes running. I'm so sorry, I'm late. You're like, you need to go and talk yourself up. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from amongst those who are proud of what He's given us, who are happy with what He's given us. A man has a face. Be happy with that face. A female has a face. Be happy with what Allah has granted you, where your nose is, your eyes, and so on. If you are not happy with what Allah has given you,